everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Auburn Tigers and the Troy Trojans. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Trojans. The Troy Trojans are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, sir? Troy is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. I gotta go with Troy. <laughs> okay, let's send it down to our head referee for today's game and the coin toss. Defense looking for his first incomplete in this drive. And they got it. So credit that one to the defensive end. Cut. Hands it off. They'll bring him down at the 22. Lines up in the shotgun. Gives it to the back. Tackle made. At the 36-yard line. Rolls right. Looks. He throws it. Catches it. He's all the way down. To the 37. Great pass play. This guy comes. Rolls to the right. Throws it to the outside. And he brings it down. He gets hit out of bounds. Comes to the line. Three wide. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Incomplete pass. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right on. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. He drops back, steps up, fires a bullet over the middle, has it to the senior. Good. Brown, back to pass. They connect again. Brought down in the open field. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First one Brown. Man, that was close. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could have... Looks to pass. He unloads it. It's intercepted. Jake's off attack. He's tackled at the 32. The linebacker comes down with the INT. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. Even for a receiver, that would have been a tough catch to make. Rifles it. It's complete. They'll bring him down at midfield. Wow, how about that third down convert? He's rolling right. He's looking. Newton lets it fly. And it's incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down, coach. That was a tough pass to hang on to. But on third down, I think that's the kick. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. Brown set to go to the air. He looks. Brown slings it. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Brown drops the throw. Surveys the field. They bring the quarterback down. Drops back to pass. He throws right. Knocked out of bounds. At the 48. Nice play call to get him the conversion. Makes them sick.
in the gun. Brown, back to pass. Throwing left. And it's the senior. And he's taken down. Ball. Brown steps back to pass. He passes it. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled. And drops back to pass. Throws. His receiver has it. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. And Brown set to go to the air. Brown throws. They connect again. They pick up some. The Troy Trojans are lining up with three receivers. And they'll score. Lines up in the shotgun. Rolls right. Looking. He passes it. And he brings it down. Brought down. At the 45-yard line, lines up with three receivers. Missed tackle. Got an opening. Sheffield with a takedown. At the 40. And up in the shotgun. Tackle at the 30. They move the stick. He's in trouble. Newton gets taken down for the sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Newton, back to pass, steps up, got it, he's all the way down, to the 18, and they make the stop at the 14, and that's not going to be enough to move the chain, the kick is up, and they tack on three points. Reached halftime here. The score at the break. Troy, seven. Auburn, six. He sends it off. Fannin fields it at the nine. At the 30. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! He saw an opening, and it was off to the race. You know what, Brad? It's players and plays like this to make college football so special to watch. we've got an injured player down there. Can't tell who it is yet. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy's able to shake it off and get back. Break one. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. up in the pocket, throws it to the outside, and down he goes, Harris gets the carry, Wade with the tackle at the 45-yard line, we got a flag down on the field, might have been offside, first down, Drops back to pass. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And it's intercepted. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Any time a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. He did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team.
in the shotgun. Newton drops back to pass. Newton rifles it, and he pulls it down. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. Ross brings him down at the 43. Newton back to pass. Newton with a bullet over the middle. Sheffield with a takedown at the 25-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab. Comes out with five receivers. He's hit and got away. Then breaks another. He's tackled at the 12. Goal on their last red zone trip. Broke away from one. Touchdown, Tigers. What a nifty, nifty run by the field general, guys. It sure was. He's got a lot of talent in those legs. A nickel back. Back to pass. Stepping up. Hampton throws it out there. McFadden brings him down at the 36. And the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. And it's caught. McNeil. Tackles him at midfield. Out in the shotgun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Picked off. Tries to juke. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so crucial to a defense. It allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. Play action. He lets it go. And he's got him on the run. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. Oh, man, they had him good there. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. The running back really sold the run well. Lines up with four wideouts. He's rolling right. He's looking. He keeps it. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. That is exactly why this kid is so poor wideout. Lee with the tackle at the seven-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Newton hands it off. Brought down at the five. Tate gains about, and that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Auburn 28, Troy 7. It's up, and they blocked it. And he's leveled. What a hit. The defense broke through and was able to get a hand on that kick. Yeah, Kirk, block kicks always get your team fired up. Now let's see if the offense can get some of that momentum to move the football. From the gun. He's under some heat, and he hits him hard at the two. They haven't done a whole lot on the ground today, and that could be why they're behind. That's right, and they've been forced to go to the air, and that hasn't produced enough figure. Come out the shotgun. Rolls right. Surveys the field. Brought down at the 29-yard line. And it's plays. Rolls to the right. He looks. Throws it to the outside. He snared the receivers. Third and short, and they hand it off. And they'll bring him down behind the line. One-yard loss for the halfbacks. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights and drives alive. Steps up, throws it to the outside. Complete. It's the freshman. That one. Hampton drops to throw. He's under some heat. Sack for a loss at the 38-yard line. And he's causing some problems for that offensive line, no doubt about it. That was his third sack. Yeah, well, he's just outsmarting the blockers. And physically, they just can't match up. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Troy probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Auburn 31, Troy 7. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.